Um, I have two main conflicting things that okay. I've had recently, um, especially with school. I've I've been with um, Arabs. Alhamdulillah. Bring it closer because we can. Okay, through. so I I've been um, Alhamdulillah. I have a lot of classmates that were Arab. Can you can you tell us your name? We need to know one another before we leave. Inshallah. That's okay. our mission. This is the first day. It's a shame, Wallahi, if we leave from this camp without knowing the name of everyone. And you introduce yourself. This is how the brotherhood develops. So your name and where are you from? Um, so I come. So my name is Ahmed, alhamdulillah. Um, I came in from Montreal, but I'm from... From where? Montreal. I drove in from Montreal. Montreal. Yeah, Montreal. Thank you. Montreal. Yeah. Um, but I, I grew up in Connecticut, so okay. it's kind of... So um, my main... I have two um, issues that I've had recently. So one is, um, especially at school, alhamdulillah, I got to meet a lot of Arabs, right? Um, and something that I learned recently was because um, a, a vocab term that they use a lot is kafir. So one issue I've been having was I, I started using that term too and then I was told by some people that it's a very heavy word and it only means if someone hears the message and they decide to refute it. Whether, so if someone didn't hear the message, technically they're not a kafir and no one should be calling them that and it's very bad. While some other people have said it's just someone that's not a Muslim. So what is the other issue? The other issue is, um, I was also taught that in terms of um, if someone's going to Jannah or not, you, I should always say Allahu Alam. So when I was, um, just now when I learned that um, some certain people are definitely going to um, hell, it would just conflict with me. So. Can, I, can I do the first one? And that's why I was smiling. You know my son, Abdurrahman, the one with the tatla? <laughs> so, uh, this wallah happened last week. So, you know, somehow he uh, uh, met the girl. She, he's little, he's uh, six years old or seven, something like that. <laughs> From the neighbor's girl. And, you know, he's really, you know, into, he would come from school and he would walk out and he plays and so, you know, he, he came back to his mother and he's talking about her. And, <laughs> and my wife tells him, what's going on, Abdurrahman? Are you interested in... Uh, <laughs> 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 well, <laughs> I mean, Ma, uh, would you like to marry her? I said, I marry kafira? Astaghfirullah. <laughs> so, you know, it's... It, Saying it in front of them, to them, may... And Sheikh Uthman can, you know, fill some gaps on this, you know. But you have to believe that. You know, you have to believe that, that whoever doesn't accept Islam is a kafir. And Allah called them kafir. Even the people of the book. لَمْ يَكُنِ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا مِنْ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ Yeah, they're أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ but كَفَرُوا فَمَا هُوَ الْكَافِرِ what is the meaning of a kafir? Someone who doesn't believe in what you believe in. I'm a kafir for them. You need to understand that too. You're a disbeliever to them too. Because you don't accept their formula of salvation. Fadl Sheikh. Fadl Sheikh. Just to be clear, kafara in the root word means to hide. That's why the word kafir linguistically can even be used for a farmer. Because they put the, the seed and they hide it, right? Shari'an, it is those who deny the truth, they hide the truth. So you don't have to be a combatant or reject. I mean, if you've heard about Islam and you don't accept it, this is kufr, right? They're hiding the truth and that's it, okay? And the reality is today, there is nobody that doesn't know about Islam. I mean, alhamdulillah, whether it's YouTube or Facebook or TikTok or Instagram or news, everybody. There's a brother in San Diego I know personally who became Muslim and who gave him da'wah? Fox News. <laughs> I know him personally. I'm not, this is not a, his name is Hamza, I can introduce you to him, right? And he was a Mexican brother and he was raised in a rough neighborhood and, you know, he was watching the news and he saw all about anti-Islam propaganda and he was like, man, those guys are gangster. 
<laughs> like that is some hood stuff. Like, man, I thought we were tough. And he went and looked up about Islam, didn't meet any Muslims. He went and he found Quran and library and he read about it and he ended up becoming Muslim. And you know, he came, he came to the masjid and I just saw him making salah one day. And I looked at his brother and I was like, man, this guy is like, something's off about his salah. So I told one of the young brothers, you know, the students, I told him, hey, you know, chop it up with him. And they were like, are you Muslim? And he was like, yeah. And they were like, when did you take your shahada? And he was like, what's that? And then, you know, he was praying and everything. He watched videos and subhanAllah. So I mean, everybody's heard. You know, now if somebody accepts or doesn't accept, that's their choice. If they accept, they're Muslim. If they don't accept, they're kuffar. Tell you, um, 